I'm Rick Sellens, and I'd like to show you a little bit of my workflow for how I get from a recorded Zoom lecture to something I can distribute to my students for consumption in an asynchronous mode. When Zoom records a meeting, it uh, saves all of the uh, information in one of these directories with a date and some description of what the meeting was about. Uh, it can be hard to keep track of what's actually in these. For instance, this one, with these double click uh, files in it. This is the current meeting. This is stuff it's recording and that it won't convert until after the meeting ends. This is the meeting I'm actually interested in. It's got an MP4 file here of the video that I recorded earlier that I want to build into my presentation. That was a presentation that I made based on this keynote file here. And so in order to keep everything together, I'm gonna copy that keynote file over to the Zoom directory. And to make sure I don't delete it by accident, I'm going to change the name of that Zoom directory to match the keynote file. Now it's a lot easier to see what I'm working on. So I've got this Zoom file, I could play it, but I'd like to edit it. So I'll start Camtasia. With Camtasia, I'll start a new project and I'll import some media. And I want the media from that guard the top right presentation. So I import it. Now I'm gonna paste it down into the uh, timeline down here. You can see that it's silent for a lot of the first part. First thing I'm gonna do, trim that down to include only the stuff that matters. Likewise, at the end, I've probably got a bunch of stuff it was just me finishing up the uh, presentation. Now I'm down to a minute and 15 seconds. I could play the video and, uh, and work my way through it, see if there's anything else I want to cut out. Or I could just stop here and save the result and share that with the students. That would be the fastest one take solution to getting some asynchronous material up onto the web. I'll go up to the top, I'll go to the file menu, and I'll save my project. I don't want an untitled project, I wanna put it in the same location as all the other stuff I'm working on. And I'm gonna call it guard the top right. Go up to share, local file, and I'm already in the right place. So I wanna produce an MP4 file, I'm gonna export it. And Camtasia will take its time to build the video file. That took longer in real time than it will in the video. But if we go and look in the finder, we'll see it points out there's the MP4 that we've just created. I can double click on that and play it. I'm Rick Sellers. If you're doing remote or asynchronous lectures, you need to keep space. So there you see the most basic process of getting from a recorded Zoom lecture to something asynchronous you can share with your students. You can post that MP4 to YouTube or to uh, MS Stream or anywhere else where you can share a streaming video with your students 